What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with Marshadow again on the Series 13 ladder, but this time it is a coaching Marshadow team that also features White Herb Zekrom. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, all the subscribers really help me grow as a content creator, so I thank all of my subscribers. You guys are definitely the real ones. But before we get started here with the with today's team preview, just want to give you guys an update on my health. As you guys realize that I missed a few uploads as you guys know i like to upload every single day it's because i've been very very sick i had strep throat i really put me out i just could not do anything throughout the day but i'm feeling a lot better I'm still not 100 percent, but i'm getting there so hopefully the uploads and the schedule get back on track very very soon but with that out the way let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only more shadow over here it's got technician as his ability and it's rocking a focus sash as his item it's got close combat, spectral thief for two heavy hitting stab moves, shadow sneak for first and priority, and then coaching like we already mentioned before we even started the team preview. Second Pokemon is going to be the strongest Pokemon in the game. It is going to be Zacian. I don't think I have to say anything about it. It is the most standard, normal Zacian moveset that is overpowered. So if you guys want to check it out, it's in that top right hand corner. Middle left is going to be our Prankster Thunders, and I love Prankster Thunders. Definitely a lot of fun to use, and it is a great support Pokemon for any team. It's got the Citrus Berry as its item, and it's rocking Swagger, Thunder Wave, Thunder Bolt, and then Eerie Impulse as its moves. And I'm trying to see what Pokemon can we Swagger. Can we Swagger any, like, of our Pokemon? Because it does give it Attack Boost. Can we give it? No. I was going to say, can we do it to our Zacron? But usually you need, like, a Lumberry to actually just do that Swagger thing, but... That isn't too bad. I guess uh, if we're going up against special attackers, we can swagger them, just confuse them up, and give them a free attack boost. But if they don't use attack, it's going to be just a free confusion for us. Really do like the Sunders. Cannot wait to use them and get that practice roll with them. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Marshadow's best friend. It is going to be Zekrom over here with the Terror Volt ability, alongside with that White Herb as item. It's got Bolt Strike, Dragon Call for two stab moves, then it's got Dual Wing Beat for coverage, and Protect for its final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be this Assault Vestia Veltal with Dark Aurora ability. And it's rocking three normal moves and one different move. It's got Foul Play, Dual Wing Beat, and Sucker Punch. And then it's got Rock Slide. This might be my first Yveltal I ever seen have Rock Slide. Pretty cool. Cannot wait to use it. Definitely going to be fun. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be our Intimidate and Sinwar. Really works well on any single team. And it works perfectly in this team as well. It's got Intimidate, Shuka Berry as item. Then it's rocking Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, Throat Chop, and Fake Out for Flinches. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on the ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Series 13 coaching Marshadow team. First battle coming at you guys, and look at this dude's team. He has a Pikachu with Ash Ketchum's hat on. That looks amazing. I do not know how to get that. It might have been a mystery gift, to be honest with you guys, but that thing looks amazing. Hopefully, he brings in a battle and it's wearing the hat. Because that looks incredible. <laughs> Cannot wait to see that Pokemon. But he also has a little Lunala. He has a Groudon, Charizard, Sun combo. Then he's rocking Whimsicott and Zacian. How should we go into this one? How should we play? I could go coaching Marshadow for maybe turn one. And that could kind of get us going. That's not too bad with the defense boost for Zekrom. Do I want to do that though? Do I want to do that? I could go there. I could go Thunderous though. Thunderous isn't too bad as a nice little lead. Let me see your moveset again. You got Thunder Wave. You got the Area Impulse. Really, really strong all around. He has a few special attackers on the field as well. Um, hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans want to do here? I want to go Zekrom? Do I want to go Zekrom, Marshadow? I kind of do. I kind of do. I'm going to end up leading both of them. I really do like that. So I'm going to end up leading both of them. And then we're going to bring Zassian in the back end. And then last but not least, do we bring in Cinemore or do we bring a Pokemon like you? I feel like we get a lot more value out of Cinemore with the uh, Intimidates and the Groudon onto the Zassian. I just really like that. And then we have Fake Out. We have Fire Move that's super effective on a few. And then we also have Throat Chop. I dig it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look, grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But before battle number one even starts, you guys gotta let me know for question of the day. What is your favorite Mario game of all time? Considering everybody loves Mario, there's thousands and thousands of Mario games of different variety too. You got the Mario Kart games, you got the Mario Sports game, you got the Mario Main Series games, there's just so many. What is your favorite Mario game of all time? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll get you guys started. Mine's Super Mario Odyssey, one of the most recent games. Phenomenal. Absolutely love that game. I thought it was definitely one of the best. But he's going to end up bringing out Charizard and Wimscott, and he might hard swap the Charizard. He might hard swap the Charizard. I still kind of want to Dynamax it. 
and go into a Worm Wind, just in case he swaps the Charizard. Because Worm Wind will still do a lot of damage. And if he swaps it into the ground, I'm thinking I'm going to go for an electric move. Then we can still rip into it, right? And we'll get an attack shop on it. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And on top of that, I am going to coach. I am going to coach my young Zekrom over here. Young lad Zekrom. So yep, he withdraws that. Go into the ground on, please. Thank you very much. Oh, that was a beautiful read by Jeans. What a start by Jeans here. What a beautiful start by Jeans here. We love it. We love it. I wonder what... uh. I do wonder what uh, Wimscott's going for. If it goes for a charm, say it goes for a charm. Could go for a trick. Yeah, that's a lot of different options. But says, say it goes for a charm into my third round. We have White Herb. We are thriving with that. I really do like that. But what a great read by us. I knew he had the ground on the team. I knew I didn't want to force the last move. Because he could potentially swap it around. So the Warm Wind's going to work perfectly. It's going to do a crazy amount of damage. And on top of that, it is going to get a minus one drop onto that uh, ground on. So I do like that turn. I do like that turn. He does Tailwind for speed. It's fine by me. That's fine by me, and he's probably sitting there, like, praying that, uh, we're going for an electric move here, but nah. We're all about that, those dragon moves. We, we knew he was going to swap. It was just an easy read. Wormwind's going to fly here. He's like, ah, oh, come on now. He's upset, and we're going to do a good amount of damage to that. Look at that damage. That's some beautiful damage. They pick up some nice damage. We get an attack drop onto the Radon, which is huge. And I think at this point, we just, uh, go into an airstream over onto the Wormscott, and we could coach up again. Or I can just Spectral Thief and get rid of this Groudon. I'd rather Special Thief instead of uh, close combating, so I keep my defense stats. But I think this is going to be our play all day. Maybe I can coach next turn. We'll see what he wants to do here. If I had to guess, the Wimscott is going to be Focus Ash, but that's a solid start from us. We still have Zassi in the back, and we kind of just need to waste out these Tailwind. He's going to withdraw you, and who are you going to go into from here? I'm going to go into Zassi, and wow, did he predict this air move? That'd be a beautiful read. It would be a beautiful read. Zassian's going to come in here. That's fine. And he's going to go for Blades here. So I'm kind of cool with Blades. We kind of soak up pretty well. I have Defense Boost on my uh, Marshadow. And Marshadow now goes for Special Thief. And that should KO the ground, right? Get him out of here. Cool. Good work, Marshadow. So Marshadow picks up the KO. We are going to get a, uh, an Airstream Boost, which is going to be nice for us. I am kind of scared of this uh, Zassian. But we are plus one on defense, which is huge. So grant some speed for us. Uh, hmm. What do I want to do from here? What do I want to do from here? It really depends who he brings out. He might throw out the Charizard Dynamax it. Which, if I if I was him, I would definitely do that too. Yep, Charizard's going to come out here. So I could go for the Lesser move. I think I might just want to go after Zacian with the Lesser move. Because Charizard could always protect, right? And who do we have in the back end? We do have Incineroar. I could hard swap into Incineroar. And then maybe try to get rid of the Zacian. That could be my play. Hard swap into the Incineroar. Onto the Marshadow slot. And then go into a move with Zekrom. I could Worm went into this slot, but I feel like he's going to... I feel like we gotta get rid of his acid, right? Because once speed's gone... Once speed's gone... My Zacian can do a lot of damage to the Charizard. So I'm gonna withdraw the Marshadow. I'm gonna send out the Incineroar. And I kind of think the Charizard might even protect here, you know? So I'm going to get that minus one onto the Zacian. And we're going to see how this one plays out here. But I think he Dynamax the Charizard, right? He does. He does Dynamax Charizard. I could see it guarding. I could see it saying, and he has a lot of different options. But I could definitely see him going for a uh, a Wildfire into the Marshadow slot, which is now in Cinnabar. So that could be good. That could be dandy. But we're kind of hoping that the Zacian is just not protecting this turn. Because if I can get rid of the Zacian, that could be a great turn for us. Let's see what he does. He guards the Charizard. So that's exactly what I thought he was going to do. What a turn from us. And he goes for the Blade into the slot. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, yo. We we're out reading this Charizard all day. This Charizard keeps thinking we're going for Lightning into him when we're not. We're not. We're not making the read just yet, and my Zekrom completely dumps on Zassian. We get a crit. I think we were taking him out regardless. We were plus one on attack. But out from here, I can pick out the right slot. I'm gonna... I can't drop another lightning, right? No. That is my last time next turn. But I can go for a Bolt Strike. I could protect and waste out Tailwind. Which I might do. I might fake out Protect, and... Does he have one more turn left in Tailwind? Or does he still have Wimscott? I think this is Wimscott, right? It is Wimscott. Okay, so... 
really doing that isn't going to do much for us. But I mean, we definitely fake him out. Or I can just go straight for a Flare Blitz. I think I'm going to just go straight for a Flare Blitz. Nah, I think I just fake it out. Take off Sash. Might as well use our fake out, right? While we have it. I'm going to go for the fake out here. Charizard might just take out my Sekrom. He goes for the Helping Hand. What a play. Should have went for the Flare Blitz. Definitely the play, but we are going to chip up some damage here. If I had to guess, this thing is definitely Focus Ash. That's fine. And then this thing is going to go for Wildfire. And can you eat this up? Probably not, right? Not very effective, but still. Look at that damage. That's some crazy damage. That's some crazy damage. Okay, so... I definitely bring out Marsh Shadow here. I definitely want to bring out the Shadow that is full of Marsh. And how many turns left in the sun? The sun's kind of annoying. But I have to save this Zassian, man. I have to definitely save this Zassian. But I want to go into a Flare Blitz here. And I might just Shadow Sneak. I have to get rid of that. I have to get rid of this thing right here. Are they out of Tailwind turns? All right, out of Tailwind turn. So Tailwind's definitely gonna get set up here. But Spectral Thief, what do I do here? I think I just Spectral Thief, and then I just go into a Flare Blitz here, because I feel like the Charizard has to go after my Marsh Shadow slot. Let's see how I play this one. Tailwind's gonna come out here. Go after my Marsh Shadow, please. I just want to get rid of this one's caught. That was actually gonna be really close. Goes for the Airstream. You going after? He takes out my Marsh Shadow. That's fine. The Marsh Shadow drops out here. We are going to take out the uh, the Wimscott here, and it turns into a 2v1 situation. And that is all of his Dynamax turns as well. It's going to be close. It's going to be really, really close. Really, really close first battle. Hopefully, we can end up picking up the W. Again, he gets his speed back, which is kind of very, very annoying. Very annoying that he gets his speed back. Now we're sitting here with Incineroar. Our Sunlight does fade, which is good for us. Maybe we can soak up a shot from Charizard, and now we can just bring out the Zacian. But he doesn't have the solar power anymore, so that really, really benefits us. So now we bring out the Zacian at the perfect time. We play this one super well. Our reads were on point. Our reads were on point today, or this battle. We read him swapping the Charizard early on, and then we read him max guarding the Charizard as well. But still, this battle's really close. Uh, what should I go into? Blade would be my best bet, right? Go into a Blade here. And then just throw chop. Go into a nice, lovely throw chop. Let's see what he does. He has speed all day. He's going to end up protecting. That's fine. I mean, protect kind of just wastes out his tailwind, right? Why did he protect it? I'm kind of curious to, to why he protected it. Oh, uh, wildfire damage. Okay, smart. Smart, smart, smart. So I think we should go for another blade here. What well, could protect? How many turns are left in tailwind? Two. And how many turns left in Wildfire? I think it said one. Let me check again. Wildfire's one. Uh, I think we just attack here. I think we just attack. Because if we can soak up the shot, then we can just protect next turn and kind of go from there. He waves going to fly through. I think Zassian can eat that up. He does all day. And I do not think Wildfire's going to come out here. And if it... Oh my god, he gets a burn. No shot, he gets a burn. No shot, you get a burn. That's wild. How much damage are we doing here? Can Throw Chop do some work? Get a crit. No shot, he gets a burn from that. Wow, we would have just won the battle. Can Throw Chop KO? Throw Chop might be able to KO here. Come on, Throw Chop. Incineroar, do him dirty. Thank you, Incineroar. Thank you, Incineroar. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Battle number one. Definitely very, very close. Came down to the wire, but your boy pulls, pulls out the victory. What a first battle to get this video started. The reads were on point, and we ended up grabbing ourselves a victory. But we're hopping into our second battle here. He's got a semi-trick room team with the Slowbro and the Alka, and then the rest of the Pokemon. He's got the Moogus, the Yveltal, Kyogre, and Grimmsnarl. I feel like it's a safe play to go into, like, Zekrom here. Wait, let me see you. Come here, Zekrom. Your speed's not too bad. <clears throat> 120. I could coach up again, which is pretty solid here. And if he wants to go into Slowbro, we can let you just electric it. And then we have a lot of super effective. So I'm kind of liking the coaching standpoint again. I could bring Thunders in here if I want to. Thunders isn't too bad. Yveltal's not bad here either. But Zastian is obviously just a beast in every single situation. So I'm going to go them too. I think I might bring Yveltal in the back end. Because again, he's a, he has a bunch of special attackers. And I believe this thing has Snarl. Am I correct? It does not have Snarl. I am not correct. That sucks, man. <laughs> uh, what do you got? Do you have Snarl? No, you have Eerie. Oh, you have Eerie Impulse. 
kind of liking you. I'm kind of liking you. There you go, Thundo, Thundo. Thundo's looking good. Electric's looking good up against a few of these guys. And the Eerie Impulse is looking even better. Dude, they, I could actually lead this thing. But. But I'm really liking the coaching combo. It worked so well for us in the last battle. Coaching's just huge. It really is. I'm not gonna end up leading again. If he wants to pop trick room, he can pop trick room. You can kind of get after it that way. I'm trying to think. He doesn't have any ground Pokemon or ice, right? I mean, Diago might have Max Quake on it with a life orb, but that's about it. Amoongus and Diago are gonna come out here. I could coach, and we're gonna, we could hope that this thing doesn't have Koba Berry. And then just allow him to pop the trick room, and we can kind of go from there. Hmm. Is that what I'm gonna? Is that what I'm gonna say? Am I going to say that this thing does not have the Koba Berry? But then we can't coach. I could do a Wing Beat. The wing Beat might be my play. Because if I coach any Rage Patterns, it's just... Like, still going into close combat? No, I think I should go into a Special Thief. I'm going to double down on this Moongus. He's going to Rage Patter regardless, right? Yep, there's a Rage Patter. Yeah. Okay, so good thing I didn't go for coaching. This coaching would have went right over to him and it would have wasted our turn. The Spectral Thief's gonna come out here. He's gonna do a decent amount of damage here, right? And Dual Wing Beat should be able to take him out even if he has a Koba Berry. And he does not, which is cool. So we get rid of him. Awesome. So if he did have the Koba Berry, the thing that would have happened there would have been the, uh, the, what's it called? The Koba Berry would have came out on the first hit of Dual Wing Beat, and then the second hit of Dual Wing Beat wouldn't have had the uh, Koba Berry. Reduce damage on it. So it would have did a little bit of damage due to the Koba Berry on the first shot, and the second shot would have been damage. So that's why I just went into the dual wing beat. But it goes into your belt here. And okay, I mean he could Dynamax your belt all. I might just still Dynamax Zekrom here. I might still Dynamax Zekrom here. 120 speed. And we have an electric move. Does he have any ground Pokemon in the back end? I would think he has like Kyogre in the back end, right? Makes the most sense. So I think we just Dynamax him. Start dropping Lightnings on him. Lightnings left and right. And then... Do I want to coach? Do I want to try to get off a of coach here? Or do I just want to throw a close combat right into the slot? I'm going to do a lot. I think I'm going to try to get off a of coach here. Considering we still have our Sash. If I can get off a of coach onto him, that could be big for that attack boost. I just really like that. But he's going to Dynamax the Dialga, I believe. And I believe that the... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go after my Zekrom, and the Yveltal might just go after my my Marshall, which I wouldn't mind. Like I said, I'm just trying to get off this coaching here. I'm just trying to get off coaching. Yveltal could protect here as well, knowing that I have an electric Pokemon add on the field. But I'm gonna say he does not. I'm gonna say he does not. So we allow him to get off the Trick Room. It's not that big of a deal. We have a where our Pokemon aren't that fast, you know, especially the ones on the field. But our uh, back end Pokemon do have. We do have our Eerie Impulse guy, which is not bad. So if our Shadow goes down here, I think we just bring it out and we kind of just start lowering special attack, which could be good. He ends up going for the Worm one. Smart play. And Zekrom should be able to soak. It does so Cool. He actually did a lot more damage than I thought it would. He soaks and he gets the attack drop on top of that. And I think Zekrom can still KO here, right? White Herb is going to come out here. Beautiful. I forgot about that. And Zekrom comes out here with the Lightning. I like that turn. The lightning comes out here. We're going to say bye bye to Yveltal. Beautiful. And we are going to end up coaching. I probably should have went into close combat. Because he is just going to take me out. I could guard. Which I think I might want to do. But we'll see what he wants to go into. But we are really thriving. We're doing, we're doing solid. We're doing solid here. So now we coach. We pose a big threat. And I feel like we just guard. I feel like we just guard the shot. And we have Marsh to get off as much damage as it possibly can. With maybe a close combat. But I'm kind of thinking that this Tiago is weakness policy. Right? Diaga's, like, it's giving me weakness policy vibes right now. It's definitely giving me those vibes. Actually, this thing is just going to double down into my... That's tough. He's just going to double down into my... I'm going to guard here. But he's just going to double down into my Mars Shadow. I'm just going to Shadow Sneak here. Just to get off some damage. Because you know he's going to go for, like, a Water Spout. And then... I take out my Zekrom. And then... His max move is going to go into my Marsh Shadow. So I might as well Shadow Sneak. Get a first turn priority. Get off a little bit of damage before we go out. Here comes a Quake. I know he quaked. 
you going for here? And you see Quaken and Water Spallin. Marshadow gets off another turn. I like that all day. Good work, Marshadow. Marshadow, I love you. All right. Go for another Max Guard, but we'll just go for, I guess, a Wormwood here. We'll Wormwood here, and then I guess I'll just Shadow Sneak on top of that. This will be Shadow Sneak, but Dialga's definitely weakness policy. I really don't want to proc it. I'm going to Shadow Sneak again. We have a Bilp, and wow, yo, was that a crit? Marshadow, chill on him. Marshadow doing work. <laughs> He's doing work. Marshadow's the man. He's the man. So he quakes, he gets a special defense boost. I like that. Maybe he'll miss his origin pulse. And my boy Marshadow can just rip into that again. But I have Zacian and then I have just uh my Eerie Impulse Pokemon in the back end. So that works really well. So we'll see what he wants to do here. Goes for the water spout still, that's gonna KO me. I'm on 4 HP. But not too bad, Marshadow. Getting off some work, getting off some crit before he goes out. I loving it. I'm loving it. I don't mind that Dynamax. I felt like it was needed. But now we go into Zacian. Because who am I going to... Like, Zekrom would be the only Pokemon I would Dynamax on this team right now. Maybe Marshadow would be second, but I'd rather Dynamax than Zekrom. So I felt like we got some value out of it. We dropped a Lightning, pulled off a nice little Max Guard. And I felt like we just got a lot of value out of it. But is this turns over? He quaked, he wormed one, and he quaked again. Yeah, his Dynamax turns are over. And I feel like here we just Eerie Impulse into the Dialga slot. How many turns left in Trick Room? One. Okay, yeah, we easily protect Easily pr protect you. And then we just go into an eerie impulse right in the slot. The eerie impulse is this lovely special attack in the other. So he has two special attackers. I felt, I feel like uh, bringing in Thunderous was a great call by us. I was going to bring in, I think, what was it, Yvelta on our team? And I was just like, nah, dude. A lot of special attackers, a lot of Pokemon that are weak to Thunder. Thunder is going to work perfectly. He ends up protecting the Kaya Ogre. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Protects him, come out from Zashi. Eerie Impulse is going to fly, and then Trick Room does end. Trick Room does end. And now both my Pokemon are faster, which is gorgeous. Which is lovely. Special attack drop, and he goes into Zassy. So that's just a free minus two special attack drop into the other for us. So from here, I can just drop a Sacred Sword. I do not mind proc and policy at this point. And then I can just outspeed, go for a Thunderbolt, take out the Kyogre. Not bad, not bad, Jeans. Thriving out here. Sacred Sword coming in hot. Bill. See you later. We take him out in one shot, no problem. We get a crit. RNG, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We take that all day. Bye-bye, Dialga. And he actually outspeeds. Okay. He actually outspeeds. I feel like my Pokemon can eat. You guys should be able to eat, right? Thank you, guys. Thank you. You also have this lovely berry. Lovely HP recovery berry. I'm going to eat it up. Citrus berry gives us some HP. Thunderbolt should come in here with the electric terrain and be able to finish off this Kyogre, right? Yep, there it is. GG's 2-0 for today's video. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Let's hop into our third battle and grab ourselves a perfect record. We are just dominating with this team in today's video. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a win here and grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. We're going up against a kind of similar team from the uh, last team that we versed. Not really, but a little bit. He's got the Zacian, the Wimscott, the Alga, the Aveltal, Kyogre, and then the Lander. So, he has an Intimidate Pokemon. We might want to bring our Intimidate Pokemon, and I might want to lead it. Just because he might lead the Wimscott, you know, we can pick that out and kind of get going from there. But I feel like Incineroar is going to be a great lead here. I can also lead a Pokemon like Yveltal. Maybe get Dynamaxing off of that. That wouldn't be too bad. That would not be too bad. I mean, it is full-blown physical attacking. So Intimidate could do me dirty, which I don't like. Which I do not like. But that, is, do we think he's going to lead the Lando? We have too many physical attackers. Maybe I might want to lead the Zekrom. Could just go in with... Mm. Do I want to do this? This is tough. This is real tough. I mean, Zekrom's not bad. The other way, but I have too many physical attackers, man. <laughs> too many physical attackers where Intimidate does me dirty. I could lead Marshy. Marshy's more so a good back end Pokemon, so I'm going to lead Incineroar. Uh, I might just want to lead the Eveltal. Bring Zassy in the back end and then have Marshadow. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. A little bit, not really. We're just hoping he's not leading this Intimidate Pokemon. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Because my whole team is pretty much physical attack. <laughs> so if he just starts intimidating me, that can get real ugly real quick. <clears throat> but let's see who he starts off with. Anybody but the Lando. Of course. There it is. 
the Landers. <laughs> kind of sucks. Kind of annoying. Um, I think he just Dynamax the Lander, right? I hard swap you belts. I could hard swap you belt on. Intimidate's gonna work well on his slots too. I could hard swap the belt on, save it. I don't know if he's gonna Dynamax the. What's it called? The Lando from here. What do we think he's gonna do? Cause I can fake out. I could just take out this Asian slot, but I feel like he protects it, right? I think he might protect it. I could party shot. Which I really want to do. I think I'm going to do. I'm going to protect the protect on the, uh, this ass. And, and I might just, uh, I could just hard swap here. The marshy or his ass on my own. And then just bring back out the evil on Dynamax it. I'm kind of with that. Because again, I think this ass does protect. And then us party shotting is going to be good for us. So we're going to try to make a move here. We're gonna try to make a move here. He withdraws his Aston, so that's fine. That's fine. He's gonna end up sending out the Alga. I'm cool with that. I'm gonna swap my Yamelta. I'm gonna bring out my Zastion. I am fine with that. I am fine with that. And what's he gonna go for? Is he going for was he going for an EQ with telepathy? I guess the Alga learn telepathy. No, he's gonna go with Dynamo. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely fine with that. I might be going for an airstream. Try to grant some speed, but. I'm totally fine with that. He's already minus one. We are parting shotting right into it. We're gonna drop his stats for a, a good bit. But let's see what move he's gonna go for. They can bring in Yveltal after this to kind of get some work done. An air stream. That kind of hurts. He's gonna uh, get some speed here. So Incineroar's gonna take some damage. He's gonna get some speed. Kind of hurts. But again, this minus on this Pokemon's gonna do us do us good. He's orbed. Is orb. I don't think he pops Trick Room. I really do not think that's going to happen. But I can blade into that slot now. I can blade into that slot and I can bring out Yveltal and Dynamax, right? That would probably be my best bet. Or I could go into Marshy. Marshy can get some work done with close combat. It really can. Let's just save my Yveltal then at that point, you know? I think I just saved him. Because again, a blade should be able to take out this Landorus, and then a close combat can do a ridiculous amount of damage right now. So my boy Marshy's coming out here. He's playing no game, so yeah, I'm just going to close combat here. And I'm just going to blade. Wait, it gives me no reason not to. It's a solid turn from us. Solid start from us. Get the swaps. He's going to airstream again in the Marsh Shadow. And that kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. What's the Alga going for? What's the Alga going for? Is the Alga going to take out my Marsh Shadow? Or is he just going to go for like an Earth Power? What are you doing here, kind sir? Just for flashing. Are you double down to my Marshy? You double down? No shot. I was not expecting that to happen, but great play by him. I'm kind of cool with that. Marsh is going to drop down. Um, Hemoth Blade's going to fly. And this should just dump on the Lando, right? We should say bye-bye to Lando. Get him on out of here. Big old Behemoth Blade. Yeah, see you later. So we get rid of him. Um, we might bring back out Zacian. I feel like at this point we just go into your belt all and we Dynamax it. And we kind of get rolled from there. Or I could bring out Incineroar. I mean, if he brings out Zacian, I could just hard swap into Incineroar. Get off and Intimidate. And Dynamax and try to get rid of Zacian. A lot of options. Let's see if he goes into. I'm going to Kyogre. Okay, I'm cool with Kyogre. I'm cool, Kyrie, because I am going to Dynamax your Veltal, and I'm going to just try to get some speed for us. I might just protect Zacian and then while I Dynamax you, right? Yeah, I think we protect him and just try to grant some speed here. Because right now the Diaga outspeeds us, and I don't like that one bit. I do not like that one bit. So, great call by us from the beginning to swap the Veltal and get him out of that so it wasn't intimidated. And it actually worked out perfectly. We really did because we because we made that read that Zacian was either protecting or swapping. He definitely wasn't uh, definitely wasn't attacking us. So we swapped. We made that great call. We got in some uh, good Pokemon. We're trying to roll out here, but dude, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good just on like the Pokemon, but I feel like I'm playing really really well. I'm gonna go for the Water Spout. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And I'm actually surprised it outspeeds my Ultra. That could be choice. Could definitely be choice. Just for a Thunder. Wow, yo, doubles down. Do not get a paralyzed. Do not paralyze me. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Yo, RNG, do me dirty. Do me dirty. <laughs> that hurts. That that one hurts, ladies and gentlemen. 
That one hurts, and you guys know it. That hurts. That one hurts. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. That hurts that we're gonna lose the battle on that. I was like, okay, we got paralyzed. As long as I can get this airstream off and land this boost, we'll be fine. And two in a row! Yo, not one, but two paralyzed in a row. Are you kidding me? That's GG's. Did we take out one of his Pokemon? I think we did. Yeah, we took out Landers. I was gonna say. As long as we don't get swept. But dude, RNG do me dirty. But I feel like it's kind of making it up because I got. I think I got two crits in the last battle. But I, but those were crits that I didn't even need. I was KOing regardless. I was KOing regardless. It's like, come on now. Come on now. <laughs> this guy's got some RNG that legit changed the whole game. Like this one was gonna be a close battle. It was gonna be good all all around. But it's just over now, right? Definitely gotta figure out Diago. I mean, Diago's Thunder KO is tough. I definitely gotta just figure out Diago. See how some plays. Diago comes in here. I could have faked out the Kyogre. This one is just over. It's over with. It didn't matter who I was faking out. That's GG's. That is GG's. I just want this battle to end after that. Two turns in a row, I got paralyzed. Oh my god, the odds of that happening is just crazy. What a set of battles for today's video, going two and one. The first battle we dominated, second battle we dominated, third battle we played really good, made some great calls, but then RNG just does us dirty in the end. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.